Have you ever wanted a progress bar in Notion? When I first started using Notion, I always wanted a way to check off tasks and have it add to a progress bar. Basically, I have two databases. One is a goals list with a progress bar. The other database has subtasks, and when you check them off, the progress bar will fill up. But before we get into the tutorial, I want to let you know that I have a pre-made template with all of what you're about to see, built-in databases, and progress bars for $2. I will leave a link below. So what is a relation anyways? A relation property is a way to link two different databases together, while rollups are a way to use the relation property to gather and display information from the other database. These will be necessary for our project today. So the first thing we need to do is to choose our databases. You'll need one database to act as a progress tracker. You can keep projects or other large goals in here. And we'll call this database number one. The other database, which we'll call database number two, will be where we keep all of our subtasks, which when checked off will contribute to the progress bar in database number one. You can either use existing databases or create two new databases. Once you've defined or created your two databases, you'll need to add a couple of new properties. In database number two, you need to have a checkbox property. Now let's go to database number one. So first, we need to add a relation property. Once you add the relation property to one database and link it, the other database will automatically have that relation property as well. Next, we'll add rollups. For this, we will add two rollups, one I'll call progress and the other total. These rollups are going to be calculating the value of our progress bar. So our progress bar is going to take the amount of subtasks that are checked off divided by the total amount of subtasks that a goal has. So I'm naming our first rollup total, which I recommend you name it as well, just because this will be in our formula. When you add a new rollup, choose the relation we already added. Next, choose name, then calculate count all. Our next rollup, named progress, will be the same relation, except under property, we'll choose checked. This is referring to the checkbox property. The last step to configuring our database is to add our formula. This formula will be pasted into the description. So in database number one, which is our goals database, we need to add the formula property. Just copy and paste this into the top section of the formula and then click done. This is our progress bar. So when you check the boxes on the other database, it should fill up. So you can stop at the last step if you'd like, but I'm going to show you how you can automatically add subtasks to a specific goal without manually adding the relation each time. So you are going to copy the link to database number two, then go into a specific goal in database number one. Copy and paste the database into the page. Next, go to filters, and you're going to add a filter to where the relation property includes said goal. You want to choose the same goal of the page you are in. Now, when you add a subtask to the database inside of this page, it will automatically mark it as related to that goal. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my blog at theplanningpanda.com. See you next time.